right it's finished uh, this one I'm calling the unity dome I've I'll take you through this one and we, we'll take a look at, at the um, how it works and what it is right first thing is it's uh, really simple there is one frame if you look at that there there's one frame in the whole of the dome you've got a bit of bit on the base but you can do you can work the base out yourself here's a side view uh, it's six nine six four millimeters and um, if you want imperial measurements give us a shout I'm quite happy to convert these over for you uh, and we're about 3.6 meters tall uh, now the next interesting thing is the plan if you look at the plan view I'm just going to scale that back a bit for you you can see that you can uh, put your door on and you can cut it in half so this dome will fit against a wall let's zoom back to here it has a flat base so we're starting to solve a lot of the problems that most people find with geodesic domes is that they don't have flat bases and can you fit it to a wall so uh, this one that's why I've called it the unity dome it seems to solve all of the problems that domes have it's got one frame it uh, has a flat base and you can fit it to a wall you can actually fit it onto the corner of a building if you wanted or you could fit it into a corner but there isn't a place for the door uh, if you fit it into a corner um, but it gives you plenty of options for fixing against a wall fixing on a corner things you want to do with it um, this is the front view you can see that uh, this is it's a decent sized dome it's got plenty of height uh, plenty of uses at this sort of size and the, the door frame there is no need to have any kind of cutaways or uh, mostly on doors you have to do a bit of chopping in that none of that you just take two frames out and put another door frame in and away you go there's your measurements for this is two frames together technically it's these are two different frames but they've got exactly the same measurements so you would make a jig for this side and then you would make all of this side by just simply turning them upside down on the jig just build it upside down and you, you've got exactly the shape you need uh, you've got your bevel measurements here the bevels are different there's a 74 uh, let's call it uh, the six, it's a 16 degree bevel on this on the, on this edge this the center one is straight uh, and this one is an 11 degree uh, cut so there's two bevels but this is the shortest length of timber and this is the second longest piece of timber so you, you, you cut your timber first you're not going to mix them up uh, right next up uh, most people ask uh, about um, it before timber this uh, dome can be cut out of eight before timber you get a, either a little piece of waste at the top here or you get a piece of waste down this side uh, I would go with this one because this piece of plywood here can be used to build the base so you can you could do a little base frame and cover the base and ply as well so you would end up with virtually no waste uh, there's your ground measurements in case you want to put a found in uh, and you know where it's going to lie uh, with your door measurements and everything that's your door frame measurements now you would just knock this up in a little frame frame it up and put a piece of plywood across the top uh, if you if you are ply wouldn't it i would probably um fiberglass it right this is the door frame so when you uh, let me zip back up here what you do is you you, you just take this out but you do need like a door frame in there just to square everything off and that's what this does it ju this will just square everything it's got that angle on it 77 uh, uh, what is it 13 degrees uh, yeah 13 degrees on the saw um and that then squares everything up so you can make your uh, a square this this um triangle frame come off it square so you could build a porch on you can join several domes together with this with this section uh, there's no chopping about it's all easy to waterproof nice and simple and nice and easy and that's your lot really there um, I'm going to um, upload this and I'll provide a link in the description but I'm not going to put a link anywhere else this is a link just for you YouTube people uh, I'm, I will be building probably a more comprehensive set of plans but these are enough for you to, to um, crack on and, and make one if you can. If you do make one, send us a picture 
um, because uh, it's um, it's a really interesting dome. This one, it's one of the. Uh, I've got a really good feeling that it could. It's a, an easy project. This is easier than making um, a, a bog standard shed because uh, there's it, there's no um, dicking about. It's just one frame. It's cool, actually. Quite I quite like this one. I've quite enjoyed doing it. Anyway, that's it for this time. Let me know how what you think. Um, and happy building. See you in the next one.